DRTK here, and today we're going to take a look at the A Video Links HDMI Splitter Amplifier Scaler. The ability to mirror displays is a pretty straightforward experience if you're using a PC, but of course that takes additional resources that you may not want to commit, especially if you're gaming. And what about other devices where we simply don't have the option of more than one HDMI output? That's where an HDMI splitter comes in. And the A-Video unit is interesting in that it not only splits the signal, but it amplifies it, allowing us to have cables over a further distance. And it also provides downscaling. So occasionally we might have multiple displays and they don't all support the same resolution. So that can be a really useful feature. So we're gonna take a look at that today. So in today's video, I'm gonna unbox the A-Video splitter, and then we'll go through the features that it has and then what I'm going to do is provide a demonstration first with a camera capturing two screens simultaneously. And then I'm going to use two HDMI capture cards to capture each output from the splitter so we can compare image quality and latency. The A-Video Link Splitter Amplifier Scaler comes in some pretty basic packaging, so we'll take a look. There's a power adapter, which is USB, I'm happy to report. It uh, includes the cable as well as, of course, the wall wart. So uh, hopefully that uh, works well. We'll see when we do our test today. Second day in the box, we're going to have, it looks like, the uh, scaler itself. And we have two outputs on one side and an input as well as a micro USB power on the other side. Would have been nice if it was USB-C, but at this price point, I guess we can't ask that much. And uh, then we have a, an HDMI cable here. Uh, of course, we really won't know how good this is until I plug it in. But uh, it appears to be a fairly thick uh, cable, so uh, hopefully uh, not too bad. And then finally in the package, a couple of other items. It looks like we have uh, an instruction sheet. Okay, this is a warranty card that uh, comes with it. I'm not sure what we do with that. And the uh, instruction and specification sheet. Uh, so that's uh, everything that comes in the package. Uh, looks pretty basic. A lot of detail on the back here. I'll talk about some of it in the video. Well, let's take a look at the features. Now, at the time of recording, the A-Video Splitter can be had for about $30 on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. But what's really interesting about this device is the range of formats it supports. It is HDMI 2.0B at 18.5 gigabits per second, and it also supports HDCP 2.2. So you're going to be able to use this for a lot of applications, whether it's a PC, DVD, Blu-ray player, gaming console. Really, you have a lot of choice here. But what's most amazing for the price is all of the options. So let's take a look at what it supports. We get one input, two output. Of course, it's an amplifier, downscaler. It's HDMI 2.0B at 18.5 gigabits per second. Supports 4K60, RGB 888, 3D 120 hertz. HDCP 2.2, 24, 50, and 60 frames per second with ultra low lag. Video supported is full HD, full HD 3D, 4K 60, 30, 36 bit color, XBYCC, and again 18.5 gigabits per second. And audio has DTS HD, Dolby True HD, DTS, AC3, DSD HD, HBR support. So a really wide range of coverage here. Scaling supports input of 460K and output of 460K or 1080p on output number one, and then 460 is a pass through on output number two. So for scaling, we're limited to the 4K down to 1080p. But still, this can be useful if we have a television and a monitor, for example, that we'd like to use. Pass through will be 1080p or 720p through outputs one and two. And one of the nice things about this splitter is it also amplifies the signal and they quote support for up to 8 meters on the input cable and 8 meters on the output cable. And of course that's an AWG standardized of 26 gauge, so that's pretty impressive. I'll be testing that to see if we actually can support a cable that long. Okay, so I've set up a bit of a demonstration here. I have a 4K video running through the splitter, and so what I have is 4K going to the television and 1080p going to the monitor behind me. So we're taking advantage of the scaling features. I've also hooked up the splitter with a 20-foot cable on the input side and 20-foot cables on each of the output sides. I don't have anything 24-foot or longer that isn't active, so I'm not able to do a test of beyond the 24-foot rated spec for the splitter. 
but 20 foot seems to be working fine. I had no issues getting the displays to come up. And as you can see, I mean, everything looks to be in sync. The colors look to be the same. I don't really notice any much of a perceptible difference, but we'll have a lot better look at that when we see the comparison of both hooked up to HDMI. So now that we've seen the two screens captured on camera, let's connect both outputs up to capture cards and let's see what that looks like. So now we have both outputs from the splitter connected up to individual capture cards. And in this first example, you're looking at a 4K video as a pass through on both sides. So I'm capturing 4K 30 in this case on each side of the screen. And now I've switched it to 4K on the left hand side and 1080p on the right hand side. And so you can see that the colors look very uniform, the proportions look very uniform, and I don't see any perceptible lag. But again, I'll measure that in post. And finally, in this last side by side comparison, I have 1080p running through both capture cards, so both outputs. And again, I don't see any difference, and I wouldn't expect to as a pass through. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, consider smashing the like button. It helps the channel out and it lets me know what kind of content you're interested in. Also, think about subscribing so you can hear about more content like the one I have on screen now. When I tested the latency in post production with both capture cards hooked up to the outputs on the splitter, I found that we ended up only about a 14 millisecond delay, so that's pretty impressive for an inexpensive device like this. And while many times you won't have these displays side by side, it's nice to know that things are pretty close to in sync. I also observed that the proportions and scaling was very good from the 4K to the 1080p scale display. The ability to mirror screens using hardware is a great opportunity to use different device types across many different platforms and use cases. So I hope this video showing you what the A-Video Splitter can do is of help. This review of the A-Video Splitter is part of a series I'm making on video hardware. It can be used for interior design, content creation, gaming, and a whole lot more. So I encourage you to check out some of the other videos in this playlist. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.